Hey, what's up everybody? This is gonna be a really quick video for two reasons. One, uh, the jets that are at the airport next to me are flying overhead every couple minutes. So I've gotta get this video created before they fly over next and all you hear is the <laughs> sound. And I also have to take care of my daughter here shortly. So let's get to it. What technology should you be learning next in 2018? Well, as a web developer, hopefully you already know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a backend framework like Node using ExpressJS, or you know Django or Ruby on Rails, something like that. And now you're shifting and you wanna learn something for front-end development. Well, you have Vue.js and you have Angular and you have React and a couple others that are a little bit less important now in 2018, uh, less popular. So which one's the most popular? Um, it's kind of neck and neck with Angular and React, but I would say for sure React is definitely taking the number one spot from everything that I've been reading. And you can go over to like Stack Overflow and see the survey uh, for 2018 and go back and see the one for 2017 and see where react is coming in very closely behind angular and you can see some other articles online where people talk about why they switched from uh, angular to react and are now using react in their projects etc that brings us to what resource should you learn to use react because there's a ton of them out there right you can go take a course on udemy you can go find books you can go uh, read tutorials on medium go to YouTube, it's all over the place. So I've actually looked in a couple different places and this book right here by uh, the author Robin Wirick is one of the best uh, resources that I've found thus far for learning React. It's not for learning Redux, I'll talk more about that in a minute, but if you just wanna learn the basics all the way up to the advanced concepts of React, then this is gonna be the book that you're gonna to wanna to use. It's very easy to go through. Even if you're coming from ES5 and you don't know a ton of ES6 or any ES6 at all, that's totally fine because Robin is gonna teach you ES6 while he's teaching you React in a really fun and easy way so it's easy for you to understand. And he's got the whole thing set up to where you can connect with him and other people that have the book and you can ask questions and kind of join that community and get help as needed. So here it is on Amazon. I'm gonna have the affiliate link down below so make sure you use that when you're checking out. Going over to his website here, he's got some testimonials. So let's go ahead and read a couple of those and just see what other people are saying. And there's one of the jets. So let's go ahead and wait a second and let it fly overhead real quick. Okay, I think it's gone. They usually send off a couple of them back to back to back. It's like a naval air station. Uh, anyway, moving forward. So back to the testimonials for the book. This is on Robin's website. Uh, we've got someone here saying, the Road to Learn React is a unique book that I recommend to any student or professional interested in learning React basics to advanced level. It is packed with insightful tips and techniques that are hard to find elsewhere and remarkably thorough in its use of examples and references to sample problems. I have 17 years of experience in web and desktop app development and before reading this book I was having trouble learning React, but this book works like magic. Okay, so right off the bat, that's a pretty good review. Uh, let's see what the next one says. The Road to Learn React by Robin Wirick is such an awesome book. Most of what I learned about React and even ES6 was through it. Also good, and mentions learning ES6. And then one more, uh, and this is from instructor at Python at Seattle Coding School. He says, this is one of the most well-written and informative coding books I've ever worked through. A solid React and ES6 introduction. Okay, so there's more testimonials. You can go through them. But I would agree with Nicholas and Andre and Mohammed. Uh, it's a great book. Everything is very easy to digest. And as long as you follow the instructions and you go through and you read all the resources that he links you to and you do the examples, then it's really easy to understand all the concepts that he's trying to convey in the book. Okay, uh, also, just want to jump through the table of contents really quick. I'll kind of skim through this so you can see what you're going to get from the book. It's a ton of stuff. Basically, he's got the introduction. He does a simple, hi, my name is React, kind of like a hello world. And then he tells you the requirements, uh, talks about Node and NPM installation. Most of you guys will have this stuff installed already. If you don't, great instructions here for getting that set up. And then he talks about JSX. And then he begins talking about ES6. And he introduces you to all the ES6 concepts that you may or may not know. So you can skip ahead if you do know ES6, or you can check this stuff out and see how it relates to React in the context of the book. So if you don't know ES6, you can just go through these sections and you'll very quickly and easily be able to understand that syntax. Now he jumps into the basics of React and talks about the component state and uh, event handler, view directional data flow, the object initializer, and everything else you need for the basics. And then he gets getting real with an API, so you're actually dealing with real data and you can connect to other APIs and deal with real data that way. Uh, code organization and testing. So just like I said before, and like one of the uh, testimonials confirmed, this book takes you all the way from basics to advanced. So he's got some advanced stuff in here and then he talks more about state management and React and beyond and then some final steps to production 
And once you finish the book, you can see some other recommendations he has regarding the React ecosystem. So once you finish the book, obviously you're gonna wanna jump into Redux. And so he has another book, he kept them separate. I think that was a good idea. He doesn't want the reader to get overwhelmed by trying to learn React and Redux at the same time, which is what a lot of courses do. And that's why a lot of people get started and then they're like, you know, quarter away, halfway, fraction of the way through, and then they give up because it's just too many things to take in at one time. So he breaks it all up and has it in two separate books. So the other book for Redux, I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it's probably just as good, is Taming the State in React, Your Journey to Master Redux in Mobex. Also, I have a link for that down in the description below. So if you wanna check that one out, go ahead and check it out there as well. If you are just getting into web development, don't take this course yet, don't read this book yet, either of them. Uh, go ahead and spend some time learning the basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and learn a uh, back-end scripting language. And if you want a really quick and easy way to do that, I highly recommend the course that I worked for as a TA, created by Colt Steele, one of the most popular courses on Udemy. Also have a link for that below with a coupon. Uh, that's the Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. And I'll be doing another video here very soon with a student from the course, and we're gonna go ahead and be doing a review and kind of talking about the course, and then we'll also be offering the coupon for the course for those of you that haven't taken it yet. Okay, so that's it for what you should learn next in web development. It's React, and I highly recommend that you learn from The Road to Learn React by Robin Wirick. Again, links are below. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the questions or comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel and like and share this video, and we'll see you in the next video.